Hey everyone, it's Tony Minadakis from Jimmy's Famous Seafood. Of course, we're known for our great crab cakes and great seafood, but today we're here to collaborate with another cult classic. Let's get in. Jerry, what's up, man? Hey, Tony, what's going on, Where's man? Where's Danny? He's right over here. Danny, what up? How you doing? We got the Lions coming in town today. All right. We want to make a Detroit-style pizza. We heard you're the place to go to. You know it, man. We got you. All right. For sure. Let's, let's do this. Let's make it happen. Hell yeah. All right. I'm back behind the line now with Jerry here at Frank's Pizza. Tell me about your Detroit-style pizza, man. Yeah, so right here we got our dough that goes into this. This is what kind of makes us Frank's Pizza. It's a, a minimum of a 72-hour cold balk ferment. We use a Polish as a pre-ferment. Um, it just gives like a very robust flavor and it makes it extremely digestible. You say 72 hours. 72 hours, so three days minimum. It's definitely enjoyable to see the, the process behind the scenes. A lot of people compare it to Sicilian style. For sure, it has some similarities in the fact that it's deep dish, but Detroit, it's basically known for their blue steel pans, and then the cheese will fall down on the side, see how it's on an angle, and it's gonna caramelize and create this beautiful cheese crust or the cheese crown. A lot of attention to detail. I'm sure there was a lot of trial and error oh, yeah. in this process. So many trials and error. Right here, the yeah, R&D process. Absolutely, you have no idea. <laughs> Ask the staff. Pizza so, uh, is just, you gotta respect the craft. That's the thing with pie. You can make a quick batch and make it one day and eat it in one day and it's gonna be fine, but if you pay attention to like the 1,000 different micro details that there are that go into making dough and making pizza, if you start to check off those one by one, you're gonna have a superb product. So you can see again, the attention to detail here, um, all the process that goes into this amazing pizza. Again, we got Detroit Lions coming to town. Uh, that's why we're collabing together for this, you know, Detroit style pizza. We have one that's already been in the oven, getting ready to come out, so we're gonna pull that out and we're gonna do it the Jimmy's way. Again, Jerry just scraped the sides here to get it not to stick out on the pan. And of course, um, we got our retail crab dip here. This is, this is Jimmy's bringing uh, the crab to the party. So uh, we're gonna top it with this at this point. Let's not have it. Wait, we just saw A little bit of tag team going on. Hell yeah, thank you very much, sir. Teamwork makes the dream work, guys. I've never been to a kitchen that has so many tools inside of it. Hmm. <laughs> You're talking about you guys. No, I'm just joking. I'm talking about the wrench yeah, and the... Uh, and this. <laughs> We're gonna put a little bit of our cheddar Monterey on top as well. Oh yeah. And then Peppa Doos. And then Peppa yeah, Doos. It's all right. Just kind of want to break them up. You, like a, you don't want too much, but just a little bit in every bite, right? Yeah, of that course. And it's and it's like a sweet pepper, right? It's not. I'm not trying to scare anybody away. They're not spicy. Uh, They're not very spicy. It's like a sweet and tangy uh, pepper. Yeah. Pop it back in the oven. Give it the final touches. Couple minutes. <laughs> oh, there we go. Hell yeah, there we dude. go. That's looking great. I don't know about you, but I'm ready to try this thing. Absolutely, man. I haven't eaten it all this morning. <laughs> you know, we're always trying to give everybody an elevated experience at the tailgoat and making sure that we're opening any uh, Detroit fans that want to come in with open arms and giving them what they're used to eating in their hometown, uh, but also giving people in Maryland, obviously, a taste of Detroit like you do on a daily basis here. Uh, just adding a little Maryland spin to it with the crab dip. Let's taste it. Let's see. Let's see how it tastes. Absolutely. Oh man, look at that thing. Yeah. So what makes a Detroit pizza so special is it's obviously got this nice light and airy crumb structure that you only get by high hydration dough. The bottom is perfectly crispy, but the king is this cheese caramelized cheese crust. That's really what makes this whole thing a Detroit pizza. Let's dig Let's in, man. Taste it. Yeah, hell yeah. Mmm. A crab dip. That crunch. And that papadou coming in. Wow. You gotta tell me um, what you got going on over here, Jerry. Excuse me. 
We got a little bit of espresso. It's kind of an Italian tradition, you know. This is an old school espresso. Old school espresso. Made with a little stove. Percolator. And you told me that you cheers. In Greek, it's bad luck to cheers, but I'm oh, gonna okay. I'm gonna follow Here your. Uh, We're Italian. All right. Gentano. Gentano. A hundred years. Hundred years. The whole thing? No, that's American style. There you go. We're American, so that's what we're doing. There you go. This is water. Wash it down, clean the palate. Gentano, brother. Gentano. 